not colorblind, it'll come in real handy. <laughs> so I'm working on those two. Uh, I love the, guy, the fact these controller guys came up because this was something, this HandyCon panel right here, it's a double white panel, um, was something, it was actually the first thing I designed when I started <laughs> doing this stuff and realized that I needed the rest of the stuff to support it. So now I got the rest of this stuff, so I'm starting to trend back to the original controllers. That's basically my gig is, uh, to me, an oscillator, filter, VCA, envelopes, all that stuff. I mean, there's tons of that stuff around. It's a core part of any system. I don't care whose you buy. I don't care what you use. You're going to have them anyway. My biggest thing, and it has been for the last 30 years, is what can you do with this stuff? Well, this was an example right here. The left-hand keyboard on Centaur. Um, it put a whole pile of uh, performance parameters at your fingertips, and you can do it multiply in varying amounts. Uh, all the people that ripped off the idea and came up with uh, keyboards on a strap and put a neck on it and all that missed two major aspects of that. One, I did this intentionally to make it ergonomic. It looks extremely phallic, but I made it ergonomic. <laughs> 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 And they didn't even have the term ergonomic back then. And the other thing was what I did to be able to create this function, because I, when I was trying to research it back when I was 24, <laughs> um, there was nothing that could do that. And so I had to actually create this using literally fish hooks, airplane springs, and all sorts of stuff. But nobody else. Everybody came up with the term <coughs> keytar, everybody got these performance synthesizers. Nobody focused on the fact that here you have multiple parameters that you can, can change the nuances of whatever you're playing. <coughs> That's what this is. It's a rehash of old technology, so basically I'm just recycling old crap. But now it's in a modular format. Uh, the nice thing about nice thing about the HandyCon is that you can put a control voltage of your choice into a jack. It's cascaded across all of them so that it's selectable. You can interrupt the cascade and put another CV in there and then assign it to the controller. You can also set the value of that parameter to whatever your destination is. So you can set thirds, fifths, you know, uh, half tone vibrato or whatever, and and uh, set them up. And and but any of these channels and the way it works is, you have a palm left, palm right, little finger, ring finger, middle finger, index finger, and thumb. And so you use your hand to control these parameters. And uh, people of uh, here's the big news is that I Rube Goldberg one together. <laughs> <laughs> This panel and this are fully functional. Uh, James didn't know that, and Richard didn't know that. A couple of my other close people knew that. Here is the prototype of the HandyCon panel. This panel works. This functions. I'm not going to go into detail about it, but uh, the only thing I can think of is as you push these plungers with your hand on there, you can introduce whatever CV you want, send it to wherever you want to go. And uh, the one on the thumb, after I built this, I decided I really need to put it on the bottom <laughs> because it's really not convenient. So this is a prototype, but it's fully functional. So I invite people to come up and uh, we'll patch this stuff up and play with it. And uh, with that and the sequence from the quantizer, the next things that are coming out, any questions? <laughs> What time is it? One or two. No, what time is it? No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> 15 minutes? See, that's yeah. what I thought I did last year. Yes? On, uh, how easy is it on that thing? I guess I could try it soon, but uh, I mean, is it like, uh, you know, those guitarist, uh, those guitar things for, you know? Exercise. Yeah, it's, well, <laughs> I don't know. A little stiffer than trumpet tunnel. keys. No. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's going to be fun. That's cool. Are you going to put a strap around your around this? <laughs> I mean, so you can 
hold on to it without holding on to it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's risk. a good idea. So we thought about uh, gloves. Yeah. We that, that's getting there. I haven't decided how exactly how I want to implement it. I'm more, more worried about functionality and seeing how it's going to do that. So that's why I did it. But the other nice thing about that is uh, when I did Billy's system, I came up with this uh, voltage controlled mixer, which is really nice. It's the same thing. It's just a mixer, but the only difference instead of having an on off switch for each channel is you can voltage control it. It's also cascaded. And uh, so it was real fun doing a bunch of stuff. That works for CV and audio, so you can do either one. But uh, I, I found out by working, I grabbed some of these, uh, these M Audio expression pedals and found out that I can actually, uh, uh, through a certain interface, which I got in here somewhere. Oh yeah, this, this great little module here. This one will let me uh, interface three of these pedals. So basically what I have here is two products. So we got that hand controller that can interface with this. But I can, you can also get some M Audio pedals. I can make a pedal board, have a little interface circuit on it, and it can interface into this. So now you got your hands and feet working on it. So uh, my, uh, my, I'm a control freak basically, and, I, I, <laughs> and, and so I'm trying to figure out ways to, to make it work for everybody so that they can, uh, you know, do their normal synthesis stuff. But you could turn that into a trumpet controller. You could oh, yeah. very wow. easily. Like the valve on a trumpet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you could. I, there's a lot of ways you can go with it. I mean, it's, it's just uh, it's just really slick. But basically, it's just a rehash of the left hand controller on the on the Centaur. Are, are you interested in other manufacturers using your uh, format, introducing somebody else's model? Oh, absolutely. Uh, last, I heard Cynthia had asked me. Uh, Peter G had asked me, and I, I don't think we should be mentioning his name. Uh, Kevin and I have been talking, Scott and I have been talking. Uh, and, it, and it goes the other way around, too. I mean, I, I'll, I'll license my circuits out to other manufacturers as well. I mean, so, uh, so either they can, if they want to come up with something in my format, that's fine. It's not exclusive. The only thing I did was just suck the air out of stuff like that. I mean, <laughs> uh, and, and it dawned on me when I got here and I was, I was helping John haul these cases in it, I realized why I did that. It's because I'm getting too damned old to, call, to haul stuff like that around. So, so, so I made it so it was thin, it was small, I didn't want a big one, you just build it up. And, uh, well, it's just small. I got a fully functional modular in a very, very small package and it's easy to get around. That, that's it, I mean, it's no different than those things. It's just portability is all. So I'm, I'm, I have no exclusive on the format. I just didn't want to lug big things around. So, and I knew I'd have to demo this stuff, so I certainly didn't want to haul them around in large format. So basically, I designed this because I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Besides the... Yeah. I was just getting confused about the hand control on the controller. Yeah. I mean, what does it do that's different than having five individual continuous controls? You were mentioning that you can cascade them, or does it, what, what does it do that's different than just adding them, adding them together? Uh, let's say you wanted to put an LFO into one of these. That LFO, instead of running it through a multiple somewhere, is now available on all channels. If you plug it into the far left, so let's say you wanted your thumb, your middle finger, and your ring finger to use that same LFO that's in sync with itself, but you want to run it to the, the filter cutoff, the VCO, and a, and a VCA. So you have three different destinations that you can utilize with three different fingers and use the same, uh, same CV source. It, it, it just saves you from using multiple. Just matter of convenience is all. And patch board. You have patch cords, but we do have patch cords up here. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs>